waters of baptism, they are telling the world publicly that they love Jesus. It's a symbol of what he has done on the inside of their life, that their sinful state was dead. But now God has given them new life in Christ. I mean, that's resurrection power. And anytime anyone gets baptized, it is a statement to the world that Jesus is real, and he is alive, and he lives in me. This is an amazing symbol of what God does in a person's life. And today, I have the privilege of getting to baptize my friend, my neighbor, Todd. Now, Todd and Amy, they live about three houses down and over the years, we've become really great friends, best of friends. Our kids play together. Um, they come in our home and have refrigerator rights. We have refrigerator rights. <laughs> They've never told us, but we just take the food <laughs> in their home. And you know, Todd and I were standing outside talking one day, and Todd said, you know what? My family raised me in a Christian home. They were amazing. They dedicated me to the Lord, baptized me as a child, I fell in love with Jesus, and from confirmation on, I was saved and a follower of Jesus. I've had a great relationship with Christ, and that's one of the things that I admire so much in Todd. And Todd said, but you know what? Publicly, I, I wanted to get in front of my friends and my family, and I wanted to tell the whole world that I made that decision for myself as well. That what my parents did by dedicating me to the Lord and teaching me about Jesus in hopes that I would one day fall in love with him, I have done. And I want to go public with my faith through biblical baptism. And so Todd is here. And so Todd, why don't you come on up? Let's give him a huge round of applause. <laughs> well, guess who's with Todd? His son, Taylor. Now, Taylor and Becca are best of friends. They, I'm pretty sure, already kissed and gotten married. <laughs> but I love Taylor. And our family loves you guys. And Taylor is a guy who really lives for God. He looks out for others. He prays for people. He cares about others. He knows the gospel, I think, better than a lot of adults. Do you know that, buddy? <laughs> you do? I'm really proud of you for that. <clears throat> Taylor, are you seven? He's seven. Goes to Pope, first grader. Yeah, one day he's going to really marry Becca. So her family's going to just hang out at Christmas every year. Make it easy on us. <laughs> but if you find someone else, that's okay. <laughs> And so Todd and Taylor are going to step into these waters here of baptism, and they're going to make the picture of a cross. It'll kind of be a goofy looking one with this tank and the size of their bodies, but different. But they really make a picture of a cross the person and the water. And this is a picture of what Jesus did on the cross and why we're here to celebrate. He died on the cross for our sins. And we, we put you underneath all of the water because the water covers your entire body because it's a symbol of how Christ covers all of your sin and removes, washes away all of your sin. Now, this is actually a horse trough. <laughs> so the idea that these waters will cleanse you, uh, it's elementary school water from an elementary school, uh, that's not true. What these waters are is a symbol of what Jesus has already done for Todd and for Taylor when they accepted the gift of salvation. They believed in who Jesus said he was as the Messiah, and they gave their life over to him. That's what cleanses you of your sins. So this is a picture of you dying on the cross, that Christ died on the cross for your sins. But we don't keep you underneath there, do we? Well, one, because we love you guys. But more importantly, because Jesus didn't stay dead. We're here to celebrate because he rose from the dead. He is alive and he lives in Todd and Taylor. So Todd, please step in the waters. Well, Todd, is it true that you're a follower of Jesus Christ? I am. 
because I'm my brother and my friend, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.